DDP Royale Mastermind with their last chance to draw this out. They're starting as the blue team down south. Yep, and very, yeah, once again, very similar lineups, almost identical lineups. Once again, the only difference being that the PP side is doing two items on the one time, whereas the Triple A is one time smart on the Flash Wolf side. Yeah, and already we can see the PvP, uh, the PvP uh, Royal Mastermind side just heavily pushing towards the inner city. Both, both but, teams. Yeah, oh, but yeah. for one tank, actually. Just the half capped uh, Melvic towards the railroad. Except for him, everybody's in the inner city. Ooh, yeah, we do see these teams very close to each other already. Yeah, once again, both teams making their way inside the city area. Although, they both kind of have like not all five members in there, and we do see actually you guys can see it on your screen now. But PP Royal Master actually with a very nice maneuver, sending up uh, that 110 along the railway as well. Yeah, and it's Melvic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and it's gonna prevent any tanks from, from going over there. Well, I mean, as a matter of fact, if he can just take care of the T1 in front of him, so Student Yaya, he will be able to flank like everybody else. Yep. So uh, definitely a nice bit of maneuvering coming uh, from uh, the uh, just uh, from the PP side. Now, really, it's, it's all gonna come down to execution here. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. Honestly, your flash holes, with, uh, with the decent maneuvering as well, they have the option of splitting up into three different lanes at this point if they do decide, decide to go for the push. And even if they do get pushed on, they, sh they should have no problem to kind of come back together and then have a very solid defensive move. So actually, both teams with a lot of options. And I think what's going to really just determine how this set plays out is just who takes more damage first. Oh, absolutely. And uh, But once again, just, uh, yeah, Melvic really, really does have a chance to uh, uh, outmaneuver the uh, wolf side, but uh, he has to be very careful about like how he does it goes about it. But yeah. yeah. Once again, a completely drawn situation. He has just nobody daring to move out of that uh, trapezoid like complex. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're literally like just one building is like separating. Oh, the yeah, right it's just that one block. Yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, as soon as somebody just even like pokes their nose out, they're just gonna just get like blown to bits. Now yeah, just uh, Melvin trying to fire a shot at the suit. Yeah, still not picking it down. Malvin is actually progressing up this railway right now. He was most likely spotted. Oh, he was spotted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the uh, thing is, is just he knows that if he gets like too close to Student Yaya, he will be vulnerable to any yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure that, <coughs> excuse me, at least one of those DCO Flashers members are going to move, uh, or at least transition over to this railway area because you can never leave like one of these things. Well, like I that. mean, at least their turrets yeah. are turns yeah, yeah, like yeah. towards these. I yeah. mean, so, you know, if Melvig like comes around the corner to take that t the T1 out, he will take like two to three shots immediately. Yeah, PP though, continuing to creep up north here. Yeah, they're pushing more and more. They have sent in two of their tanks inside this uh, kind of square area. Yeah, yeah, as well, trying to get some more damage for his team. We do see Trump's things starting to get a little bit of damage. He took about 400 damage right there. Yeah, of course. Yo Flash Holes continuing. Yeah, Yo Flash Holes as well trying to engage us. Yeah, both teams are not afraid to engage at this point. It's just going to come down to who lands more shots. Look at that. Big shots landing to all these members of the PvP side. Spec up taking a lot of damage. Same with Trums here. Black Mama did take a little bit as well. They do retaliate. Look at this brilliant flanking maneuver coming from these aiming 50s. Oh, yeah. It's this, I think this oh, will be able to close Oh, boy. This. this is like if somehow Edison 99 can take out Black Oh, oh no. Black wow. Mama takes him out first. But, uh, yeah. He's no just problem to tie this up. They do manage to take down one of the T1s. Black Mama falls there as well. We're tied up at this point. Yeah, Baby but Rex City's. gonna go down. Rex gonna go down. Yeah, too. Spec Ops is gonna get traded here as well. So Spec Ops goes down right there. Rex is in a lot of danger right now. Can he land one more shot before he goes down? If he lands one more shot on he does. He does, yeah. Wow, to Trump, very he nice. He might even get a second one. No way, will he do it? He might get a second it? one. Oh he my does God. get the second one. Actually, Amazing. I, well, I think it was from non-TW, but he still stayed long, exactly, alive long Exactly, exactly. It's just yeah. like, uh, oh, once again, brilliantly done. And now Melvik, the only one remaining. There's absolutely nothing he can do. This is going to be a very convincing Your Flash Wolves victory. Size of relief, I can imagine. Already. Oh, yeah. Most definitely so, and it was just a very well-deserved victory from the Yo Flash Holes. They absolutely needed this win, and they have, and they most definitely deserve. Well, you know, the only team that's like really just sort of uh, didn't capitalize.